so the battery ran out on the other one so this is part two of uh, wandering through the chaos of Jim's house uh, I think we were right here this wonderful painting by Linda Bobant when I had it framed the woman when I picked it up said oh you mean that one of the potato head juggling broccoli but I like it oh there's a Taurus that Gary Denmark brought to me from Spain this is a death rattle that was in my friend Dina's house a Ganesh that uh, my dear friend Martha brought back from Mali so many little objects here but now we get into the elephants fetish my altar is full of elephants and other stuff. Ah, I seem to recall some of these are from Cheryl Cheetah. And this is the first elephant, the original elephant that uh, Robert Minnick Keller gave me. And then, of course, there are the endless mobiles. This one I stole images from Martha Hubert's paintings and altered them a great deal. Uh, and uh, And then, there's this little objects in the mobile, which contains some of the ashes of Robert and Akello. And I'm assuming he would be only too happy to be floating around in what I might hope I can call an artwork. Some mobiles, well, there's more of the fish that were and a water snake that were carried on uh, by dancers in black tights uh, in Charles Perrier's uh, uh, Carnival of the Animals. And uh, this is uh, sort of an arts and crafts mobile. Couldn't resist some of these natural objects. And uh, from my last birthday, this wonderful Ganesh banner that Linda Beaumont sent me. And if only I could, were not blocked by some stack of books or boxes on the floor, I could show you the whole thing much better. And then here's a mobile I've, I've always been fond of. It's made from found rusty objects on Petrel Hill. But it moves the way a mobile ought to move, with little cascading uh, motions and other stuff. And, um, oh, I guess I better... This is sort of a... was a... you know, a major effort. Uh, Jim's symbol when he thought he would rather be known by a symbol than by a word. Oh, oh God! It was uh, almost 
a fatal move. But then also I can see this from my bed. Looks like this from my bed. And then there's my wall of paintings. And I'm afraid reflections will make them hard to see. A gift from Gary Denmark. One of Martha's wonderful pieces. And then this piece by Martha, which is wonderfully centering, but unfortunately is marred at the moment by all these reflections. Uh, you can't really get a proper impression of it. And I think, oop, shoo, <laughs> there it goes, near fatal move. And then I, I always showed you this thing by Martin Luther King from Linda Beaumont. You, when the curtains are open, the light shines through wonderfully. And uh, Martha has, I mean, God, Linda has done a lot of these uh, glass walls in Saddle Airport, and uh, she did a fantastic King County courthouse. She does, oh, anyway, she's a wonderfully hardworking actress. Oh, here's the uh, memento of uh, being in Venice took from a wall the and uh, oh I don't know well I don't know oh I don't know there's too much more and too much clutter and this is my this is my work area I ought to be ashamed of myself anyway I hope this hasn't been too boring Jim's little house